Today, just a short video on the Back Rack G3, which is an alternative to the Thule Easy Base 949, etc. There are a number of other systems on the market, but just for comparison, I will use these two. As you can see, back of my um, Volkswagen Transporter T5, um, I have a detachable tow bar, which I will now fit, and I will take you through the process of installing the G3. The Back Rack system uses a clamshell. Uh, mechanism for fitting over the tow bar um, to allow you to clamp the rack on. Um, this is it in my hand. As you can see, it's uh, branded as back rack, but I'm sure there are others on the market. Um, it's a small two piece clamshell with a band to tension it around the bottom, which simply snaps over the tow bar, giving you an almost perfectly square uh, fitting to drop the back rack on. This is the back rack G3 system um, on its own. Um, it's a mild steel rack. Uh, it's galvanised um, and it has this fitting at the tow bar end to allow it to fit over the clamshell. Uh, it has a load rating of 100 kilos, which is um, about double uh, of the Thule 949 system. Have your tow ball in place if it's removable and the um, clamshell attached over the top of your tow bar. The uh, rack is very simple to install. Um, it literally drops into place over the clamshell. Um, it is not bolted in place at the moment, hence it's drooping a little bit at the rear. Um, at this point you will want to square the rack with the bumper of your car so it's not off centre. Um, there are two locating grub screws built within the clamshell and I will show you what they do in a moment. The clamshell simply comes off the tow bar, the elasticated ring on the bottom, the little orange thing that you can see, is simply there to hold it together um, so that you can guide the rack down safely. It has two grub screws, you can probably just about see one on this side and one on the other. Uh, this is universal fit, can go either way, doesn't make any difference. Um, the grub screws, I don't know if you can see, uh, protrude very, very slightly from the inside. So once you align the back rack and tighten it up, uh, it will leave a small mark on your tow bar, which if you're having problems with the rack moving from side to side, swiveling on your tow ball, you can in fact drill a couple of tiny countersunk marks. I hope you can just see this at the tip of my thumb uh, into your tow bar. It's not needed. Um, but I only intend to use this rack on this tow bar, so for me I just wanted the added safety that it wouldn't swivel. And then you simply wind the grub screws out, mine are sticking out about a millimetre, maybe two, and they then align into those holes I've drilled on the tow bar, which means my rack is always square. I don't have to align it each time I fit it. Go over that again. Um, as you can see there, very slight countersink uh, drill. I think I used the tip of an M6 drill, uh, front and back, and then the small grub screw on either side of the clamshell. And once that's fitted, the uh, you can then rotate it, and it firmly finds those holes that have been drilled. And I know that that is perfectly square to the back of my vehicle. So when I drop on the back rack and tighten the 19 mil bolt. The rack is exactly where I want it every time. Over the clamshell it's simply a case of tightening up a 19mm bolt which is centred underneath the rack and pinches the rack and the clamshell onto the tow bar. Um, for this demonstration I've literally just nipped it up hand tight. Um, back rack recommend that the G3 is tightened with a torque wrench if possible. Uh, to around 80 newton meters. If not, they suggest hand tight to approximately how you would tighten a car wheel nut. Um, this then holds the rack firmly in place and you are ready to go. Um, obviously the main cosmetic difference between the back rack G3 and the uh, Thule 949 is that this rack does not have a built-in light bar. Um, it is my intention to use the Thule backup box um, on this rack, which is about 420 litres. It's not primarily designed for this rack, um, and I intend to make up 
um, some fittings to allow that installation. Um, but the rack itself can be used for a number of different things and they make a number of different options. Uh, these include small baskets and um, headboards which is effectively a giant loop for you to stop things sliding forward uh, from the rack. Um, with a payload of 100 kilos um, as it stands, um, obviously you'd have to check your nose weight of the tow bar on your car because not all vehicles would naturally be able to take a 100 kilo load. Advantage with the Backrack G3 is that if you are intending to have it fitted to your tow bar but travel with no load on it, it can in fact be hinged out of the way. Um, you remove the safety pin which passes through the clamshell and then the rack is simply hinged up and the pin is reinserted and it's safe to travel like that. It just means if you're doing a journey where you will only have a load uh, it one way when you're perhaps going to collect something you don't need to have the rack down when it's empty. The retaining pin now reinstalled as you can see the rack is now ready to take a load um, it just simply passes through the clamshell and has a safety locking ring on the other side. Removal of the rack is pretty straightforward again just a couple of turns on this um, bolt here to loosen it off and the rack will simply be lifted off of the clamshell and stored away. Quick run through of installation onto the vehicle. Um, I already have the tow bar fitted um, and that takes me a, a minute or two to put in place. Um, but this obviously real time video of me actually installing the uh, back rack G3 into a ready to use state. I've only hand tightened the bolt for this demonstration. I would, if I were going to leave it on there long term, torque that up to the 80 Newton meters specified, which they suggest is around the same tightness as a wheel nut would be. So again, just running through the um, removing it from the vehicle. that's really all there is to it. So uh, just to give you some idea of dimensions, um, this rack is coming in at a width of approximately 800 millimeters. Uh, that's around 31 and a half inches. Um, the actual frame itself is coming in at 600 millimeters. That's about 23 and a half inches. If you include the clamshell, you come up to a total of about 685 and 27 inches. Um, it does sit some distance away from the vehicle, but of course this will depend on your tow bar. Quick recap, this is the Backrack G3. Uh, it's made from mild steel um, and it is, has a galvanized finish. It has a 100 kilo load rating, uh, subject to your tow bar's nose weight. Um, every vehicle is different, um, you would need to check in your handbook. Uh, it comes supplied with all the equipment I've shown you today, obviously, except the tow bar. Um, it comes with the clamshell and some basic fitting instructions. Um, Backrack uh, have their own website where you can purchase these items. I will flash up the website details over this video. I, however, ordered mine and collected it from Wilmond Engineering in Hitchin, um, who are, in fact, a manufacturer and stockist of this product. Um, so if that would suit you better, I will also flash up their details over the video. Uh, they didn't have the item in stock when I needed it, but it took them about three days and then they were they had the items available. Quick recap of the Backrack G3 system. I uh, just wanted to say that I'm not connected with Backrack themselves in any way, shape or form. Um, I simply discovered this product by searching for alternatives to the Tulay 949 EasyBase. Uh, as I noted earlier, there are some differences. The Tule has a lower uh, load rating, but does come with a light bar. Um, we opted for this product because we have a tow bar with a high nose weight, and this can carry 100 kilos. So we decided to go down this route. I hope you found this video useful. Hopefully it gives you some insight into the uh, Backrack G3 system. Um, I don't think there are many other videos on YouTube demonstrating uh, this product. Um, there are several for the Tule 949 
easy base system. But uh, hopefully you found it helpful, um, hopefully it's of some use to you, and um, in the fullness of time I will probably make another video once I have made brackets uh, to install the two-lay backup box.